Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa attended at Rafah Palace today the wedding of the grandson of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The wedding was attended by a number of their Royal Highnesses, members of the Royal Family and senior guests. His Majesty the King congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Interior for Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Rashid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa on the occasion, wishing His Highness Sheikh Khalifa a happy marital life. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his good wishes, wishing him abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudabiya Palace today His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Royal Highnesses praised the noble goals of the UNESCO King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Prize for the use of information and communication technologies in education that aim to developing the quality of education, congratulating the 8th edition of the awards winners. The Royal Highnesses reviewed the latest regional and international developments and stressed the importance of Gulf cooperation with economically vibrant countries which will aid in strengthening and developing the economy of the region. They affirmed that exchanged visits between the Kingdom's senior officials and their counterparts in other countries will pave the way for more effective cooperation and strengthen the ability to deal with global economic developments. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, headed the weekly Cabinet session today at Qudubiya Palace. His Royal Highness informed the Cabinet about his visit to Qatar after the invitation of Prince Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, where he will meet the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. The Cabinet hailed the deep-rooted historic relations between Bahrain and Qatar, stressing the importance of the visit in enhancing Bahraini-Qatari cooperation and the exchange of points of view in topics of mutual concern and regional developments. 
His Royal Highness also briefed the Cabinet on His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's official visit to Kuwait, commending the brotherly relations between the two countries and the development of their cooperation. The Cabinet stated that such visits enhance the march of the Gulf Cooperation Council countries and their role in improving coordination in facing regional challenges. His Royal Highness noted the significance of national initiatives in enhancing the agricultural sector, urging to continue encouraging creating exhibitions that promote national agricultural products and encourage investment in the agricultural sector. His Royal Highness then praised the role of Bahrain International Garden Show under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and inaugurated by Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess. Sabika and Ibrahim Al Khalifa. The Cabinet reviewed a draft proposal to exempt certain development projects from customs fees, which was prepared in light of the Financial and Economic Cooperation Committee of the GCC. The Cabinet reviewed the recommendation of the Ministerial Committee for Urbanisation and Infrastructure regarding the amendment of Article 20 of Municipalities Law 35 of 2001 concerning the review of mechanisms and procedures of services to ensure the proper implementation of government projects and programmes. A memorandum submitted by the Ministry of Justice and Islamic Affairs regarding the amendment of the Financial Disclosure Laws regulations was also approved. A draft resolution was approved by the Cabinet outlining the fees categories for licences and customs fees issued by the Customs Affairs. The Cabinet also reviewed a draft memorandum of understanding between the ministries and bodies of Awakwaf and Islamic Affairs of the GCC. The request of the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning to expropriate the path of the AB pipeline between the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and Bahrain was approved. Finally, the Cabinet approved a Memorandum of Understanding in the field of civil service between the Kingdom and the Republic of Turkey. The Minister of Finance was commissioned to sign the Memo of Understanding on behalf of the Government of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, will leave for Doha tomorrow on a brotherly visit to the state of Qatar at the invitation of the Emir's father, Hamid bin Khalifa Al Thani. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister will meet the Qatari Emir, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamid Al Thani, and a number of senior state officials with whom he will hold talks on ways to bolster relations between the two brotherly countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa will conduct an official visit to the state of Kuwait on Tuesday. The visit, which includes bilateral meetings with the Kuwaiti leadership, will focus on ways to advance the existing strong and long-standing bilateral relationship to achieve shared goals of development and prosperity. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohamed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,349.75 points, marking a decrease of 0.39 points below the last closing. The fall was in the commercial banks and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 91% of total shares. 45 transactions included 3,103,887 shares, worth 687,124 Bahraini dinars. Speakers discussed the GCC financing challenge on the opening day of the 2017 GCC Financial Forum, co-hosted by Euro Money Conferences and the Bahrain Economic Development Board at the Four Seasons Hotel in Bahrain. More on this report with Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. 
More than 800 delegates from 23 countries, including Egypt, Kuwait, Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, UAE, the UK, and some from as far as China, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Singapore, convened the 6th annual GCC Financial Forum starting today in Bahrain, co-hosted by Euromoney Conferences and the Bahrain Economic Development Board. We certainly see this as a flagship event. Uh, financial sector is very important, and we wanted to make sure that Euro money uh, is, is attended and seen as a, a beacon for the, the financial services sector. It allows discussion on uh, current topics uh, and generally to reflect on what is happening in the GCC right now in, uh, in a very interesting and challenging time. A town hall interview offering the audience the opportunity to put their questions directly to the governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain has now become a tradition every GCC financial forum people from different walks of life uh, to debate on issues which is very much related to the, f the development of the financial industry. The, today we heard from uh, uh, very prominent speakers from UK and from the US and from Europe and I think they, uh, they helped in shedding lights on uh, very key issues the outlook for GCC economies was in focus as well as the development of the region's financial sector and innovative solutions to today's financing challenges. Today uh, proves that there is great interest in the economies of, of the region and I think these sort of forums is good to basically exchange notes and uh, compare uh, positions. Uh, I think the, the worst for Bahrain or the sea is over the countries have started to basically uh, adapt. Discussions were conducted by the highest level of international policymakers, economists, academics and financiers to determine how the GCC can fund its future. This region has been trying to deal with the consequences of lower energy prices, uh, which requires a big political and social adjustment because spending levels have to be much reduced. And then there's a longer term problem of how does this region diversify out of uh, uh, oil uh, because I think the future uh, is increasingly going to be in alternatives uh, in other forms of economic activity. And that I think is really the, the long term challenge that the region needs to meet. The conference conclusively addressed the potential for further integration of the GCC financial markets on the global stage. The GCC Financial Forum is certainly an influential, insightful and unmissable event for all those involved in financial services strategy everywhere, allowing the global audience the opportunity to gain insight on how the Gulf is changing, what the financial challenges are and how these challenges will be met with new approaches in financial intimidation. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdel Ghaffar.